In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix the issue where emails are not sending on your iPhone. So if you're unable to send or receive emails, the first thing we need to do is go and open up the settings on your phone. And the very first thing we're going to do is turn on airplane mode and you can leave this on for around about five to 10 seconds and then go and toggle this off. Now, once you've done that, scroll right down to the bottom of the page and click on apps. Scroll down until you find the mail app and click on mail. Now select mail accounts and go and select the account that you're having issues with. So in my case, it's my Gmail. So I'm going to click on Gmail and then select a delete account at the bottom of this page and press delete from my iPhone. Now, once you've deleted your account, you'll need to go in re-add it. So press add account go and select the type of account that you're adding. So in my case, it's going to be Google. And then you can sign back in to your email account. Now, once you're signed back in, just make sure mail is turned on like this and press save. Click on fetch new data and make sure push is turned on and enabled and make sure fetch at the bottom here is set to automatically. And then you can go and close out of this window. We can then open up the mail app and check to see if our mail is now working. Now, if you're still having an issue, then open back up the settings app. We're then going to scroll down to general, click on iPhone storage and scroll down until you find the mail application. You might need to click on the show all button. And once you've found mail, just click on it, click on offload app and then press offload app. Now this is essentially going to clear all of the mail cache. So you can then press reinstall app and don't worry, this won't delete any of your personal data. So once it's finished reinstalling, we can head back over to the home screen. You can go and open up the mail app once again and your mail should now be working. Let me know in the comments if you did find this video helpful.